Hey guys, Austin here from JKU392 Adventures. I just got done testing a new kit from Salty Captain. It is the off-road essentials kit, and I use it to wash off my Jeep, wash off my tires, and wash off the interior and the mirrors. So let's go ahead and take a look at that kit, see what all it comes with, and then we'll see how it works. All right, nice big microfiber towel. And then we've got our soft microfiber hand mitt. We've got our soft bristled brush. Got the hard bristled brush here. This is what I would use for cleaning the tires, cleaning the rims on the Jeep, kind of scrubbing up any of the frame. Let's take a look what's inside the bucket. So we've got our dirt catch. This is gonna go on the bottom of the bucket. That way we only need to use one bucket to clean the Jeep. You can use this, the dirt will fall through and the clean water will still be on top. So you can still rinse your wash rag into the bucket and you're not gonna get that dirt on it because it's gonna be below this little separator. Got our glass cleaner, interior cleaner, grease attack, multi-purpose degreaser. This is gonna be for the inside of your engine, for your tires. I'm gonna use it on the inside of the frame here. Four wheel drive and RV wash. This is gonna be our main wash that we're using. Comes with three spray nozzles. That's gonna be for the glass cleaner, the interior cleaner, and then the multi-purpose grease attack. And then this is gonna be your soap gun, big loads, pressure washer, foam cannon. And one thing I do notice about most of these products, they do have a QR code on them. So if you're wondering kind of how to use them, you can scan each of these products with your phone. Even the foam cannon, it has a QR code so you can get a quick link right to a video. Some nice high quality parts here. Here's your setting adjustment. Keep in mind, I do actually have a foam cannon from Amazon and it is not built like this. It is cheap feeling. This feels great. And it's got a little filter on the bottom there. Also, the other foam cannon that I have, the, ho the nozzle on the top here is so small, it's hard for me to get any soaps in here. This end is huge, that's nice. All right, what do you guys think? Definitely comes with, I would say, everything needed to wash your car in one single kit. Definitely a nice kit to have. So before we end up cleaning the Jeep, I know a spot down the road that I think we can find some dirt. So let's go ahead and we'll head on out. head back and wash off the Jeep. All right, I'd say we definitely found a good amount of dirt out there. Definitely got some mud caked in and all these different spots. I like to start with the power washer first, and then we will dig so into the Salty Captain Off-Road Essentials. And I'm gonna give you my honest review on this product and we'll see how it goes. So start with the power washer first, get this mud off, and then we'll get the foam cannon out. All right, so I got most of the big chunks of mud off. You wanna make sure you get all the mud out because you don't want there to be mud on here and you're scrubbing the dirt in. So you definitely need the power washer or the hose to get those big chunks of mud off. We're gonna open up the hood and we're gonna use the engine degreaser and clean off the engine. So we've got our grease attack. We're gonna use this to degrease the engine bay area. So we're gonna use this as it is and spray it kind of all over this area. 
I do recommend letting it sit for a couple minutes. And keep in mind this engine's hot. It would be better to use this on a cold engine. That way stuff like here, it isn't just drying off right away. I'm gonna use this brush, kind of brush off the engine. Let's go ahead and rinse it off. I didn't have to scrub the engine off too much. Where I did spray it on the bottle, it did get a lot cleaner there actually, it did degrease that. One thing I did notice, this right here, with this engine degreaser, I didn't even have to scrub it off and it mostly got it all the way off. So just a little bit extra scrubbing, takes it right off. So that was nice. So let's go ahead and get the foam cannon out. Right, so we got our four wheel drive RV wash. We're gonna fill up our foam cannon. So the RV wash instructions are pretty simple. You're going to fill this with 30 to 50 mLs, and then you fill the rest with the water. Based on the instructions, 30 to 50 milliliters will be adequate for washing your vehicle. But for more soap suds or extremely dirty vehicles, add more solution to the foam cannon. So we'll fill this with about 900 mLs, and we'll add about 50 mLs to this four wheel drive RV wash. It's nice that it's got the measuring units right there so I can see exactly how much to add. All right, let's test it out for the first time. Easy, quick disconnect on there. Give it a first spray. And too tight. Just like that, one whole bottle of the soap was empty, but I got to spray the whole entire Jeep off. So now we can scrub it down. Now we got done scrubbing off the Jeep. We can go ahead and spray everything off. Now let's test out this drying rag. Just like that, this Jeep is dry. That was easy, especially with such a big rag. A lot of absorbing power. Next, we're gonna try out the Salty Captain glass cleaner. Next, we're gonna use the interior cleaner. You can spray off all the plastics and it says all the upholstery. So let's spray everything down and wipe it off. It has a good smell to it. So it's like a citrusy smell. Now I'm gonna take this grease attack, spray off the tire, use the hard bristled brush, give it a little scrub down. I'll do this on all four tires, and then we'll spray it off the power washer after a couple minutes. So I just got done washing my Jeep with Salty Captain's Off-Road Essentials bucket, and let's see how we did. It is definitely a lot cleaner now. One of my favorite uh, things about this kit probably be that degreaser. Sprayed it on the tire, I let it sit for a little bit and I rinse it off. You can see the dirt just flowing right off the tire. Use that on the engine also. 
on the top here and it got off some grease that had been stuck there for at least a couple months. The interior cleaner definitely gave the Jeep a nice citrusy smell. The seats feel even softer. And the plastics, they just have a darker, darker, richer tone to them. I also like that it came with a big microfiber wash rag here in the bucket. Microfiber towel, it did good. Drying off all of the Jeep. And then this foam cannon, I really enjoyed using this. Easy to refill, easy to adjust, just looks high quality. Here's that other foam cannon I've been using. If you could imagine filling that up every time, can't even fit a garden hose in there compared to this. That is a huge difference. What is that? So overall, I would say this is a good kit for off-roaders. The off-road essential package comes with everything you need just to keep your Jeep nice and clean. So be sure to check out Salty Captain. I'll put the link in the video description. That way you guys can check it out for yourselves. Again, thanks for watching.